Speaker, my question is for the Attorney General of Ontario. This question is important to me on both a personal as well as a parliamentary capacity, representing, as I do, Etobicoke North, a diverse riding. It's unfortunate that the opposition hasn't been asking questions today that relate to government policies or are focused on priorities that matter. So my direct and earnest question is this. Will we ensure that the justice system remains equally available to every Ontarian from any and all socio-cultural backgrounds? Madame la Procureur Générale, nous devons nous assurer que le système de justice est accessible pour les Ontariens de tout milieu socioculturel. The justice system can be complicated at times, and it matters to me and to my residents in Etobicoke North Question. that every Ontario, regardless of background, is respected. Et alors, pour nous, Monsieur le Président, les Ontariens et Ontariennes s'attendent à ce que leurs valeurs soient respectées dans les initiatives de leur gouvernement. Le député a raison quand il affirme que la justice doit être assurée par tous les Ontariens, indépendamment de leur origine culturelle. Mon ministère a travaillé avec le Centre d'assistance juridique en matière des droits de la personne afin d'améliorer le processus de la fonction de jury. Des coordonnateurs de l'information sur l'accessibilité au palais de justice sont disponibles en cas de besoin et une formation supplémentaire est offerte pour assurer qu'ils soient prêts à accueillir toutes les personnes ayant, ayant des besoins d'assistance. Notre gouvernement travaille avec ardeur pour répondre aux besoins changeants de la société multiculturelle ontarienne Response. en fournissant un service d'interprétation dans toutes les langues. Lorsque requis, nous assurons que les interprètes qualifiés sont disponibles Merci. en cours. Merci, M. le Président. Merci. Speaker, I feel grateful and privileged to be part of a government that allows me not only to pose such a question, but also furnishes me with that answer. A government led by Premier Kathleen Wynne, especially Kathleen Wynne. Speaker, in 2015, I, Speaker, I have to say, it is sad, remarkable, anachronistic, and startling that we still, still have to remind ourselves that diversity and religious freedoms should be respected everywhere. Speaker, Ontario is an incredibly diverse province. Nearly 40% of Canada's immigrants settle here, and it's important for people to know that their cultures and belief systems are honoured. Speaker, what are we doing as a government, at least here in the province of Ontario, to uphold the sacred trust. Thank you, Attorney General. The Minister of Citoyenneté and Immigration. Minister. Thank you, Speaker. I'd also like to thank the Honourable Member from uh, Etobicoke North for asking the question. Speaker, as an immigrant myself, I know firsthand how difficult it is to come to a new country, to learn a new language and experience, a new culture, and how important it is to feel welcome. Speaker, from its earliest days, Ontario was built on immigration. With the exception of our Aboriginal populations, we all come from somewhere else. We know that diversity is one of our greatest assets. Speaker, this is why in 2012, we introduced the immigration strategy, which aims to attract newcomers, leverage diversity, and help successful transition immigrants. Answer. As well, Speaker, we are re reintroducing Ontario, the Ontario Immigration Act Bill 49, which will allow us to have more control in our immigration system. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you.